going on everybody the Iceman here on the Iceman V2013 YouTube channel how's it going Martin Luther King Day uh, let's celebrate that um, teen A no longer teen A it hasn't been for quite some time now called impact wrestling in between it was global force impact well TV tapings down in Orlando, Florida. This week, rumors have it, Bobby Lashley has left the company. We won't see that probably for a few months. Also, Ethan Carter III, EC3, another one to depart. And also, Laurel Van Ness. At present time, she is the current Knockouts champion. Or was the last time I watched it. Um, here's the thing. I've been, you know, because I've always liked TNA wrestling. And this is the changeover from TNA wrestling. Jeff Jarrett came in and put his Global Force label on it. Um, Jarrett getting himself into some trouble. Had some issues with alcohol, uh, so Anthem let him go. The name got changed to Impact Wrestling. Now, the problem with all this is most of the stars that were there when Dixie Carter ran TNA Impact, a lot of them have left, and they continue to leave. Um... It's rumored to believe that Austin Aries has come back, but Aries comes and goes. He didn't make it with the WWE, decided he was unhappy with what was going on, so he left. He came originally from Impact to the WWE. Um, as we all know, Aries been in Ring of Honor. Uh, he's come and gone with TNA Impact Wrestling. But, again... A lot of these guys come, but they never stay a very long time. Uh, another member that is leaving Impact Wrestling is also Christopher Adonis, uh, the sidekick of Eli Drake. And there's been rumors about Eli Drake leaving as well, uh, but that's not been fully reported as of yet. So you can't grow a company when you can't keep your main stars. And this is a problem that Impact Wrestling's been having um, throughout the years. Actually, for the last four to five years, I think it all began with AJ Styles leaving. Um, and that was the demise of the company because a lot had followed suit thereafter. I try to give Impact a chance because... It was TNA, and I. it was a show I used to love to watch. I have the GWN, the Global Wrestling Network. Uh, you can watch a lot of good stuff off of there. I mainly go back to the Asylum years, and I start watching those pay-per-views. Um, it's good stuff. It really is good stuff. And I watch that because that's, you know, the times when... It was the beginning of TNA Impact Wrestling, and it was starting to grow, and they put on great shows. But as time went on, people started leaving. They started getting people from the WWE that no longer served a purpose for WWE, so they came to TNA, and they made them stars. I'm disappointed in how it's been turning out. I'll still continue to watch until it gets to the point where I can't watch no more. Um, wrestling has really diminished for me, although I just recently bought tickets for a Monday Night Raw on April 16th here in Hartford. I'm looking forward to that show, but I'm disappointed because Paige is sidelined, and she'll probably never be in the ring to wrestle again. One out of the people that I wanted to see that I've never seen. So, one last thing I need to say is... Impact Wrestling 
if you're going to stay afloat, you need management that's going to bring in people, sign them to good contracts, and make them want to be there and quit letting these people go or quit getting rid of these people. With all that being said, this is the Iceman. We'll see you all again next time.